hello guys welcome to freepossess.com and this is my new project the online shopping system and i have developed this project in asp c sharp and database is mysql and uh, i have used the visual studio 2015 community edition for developing this project so and for connecting the c sharp with mysql i have used the mysql connector c sharp connector and you can easily get it on mysql website okay so this is about the technology which i have used uh, in this project and for designing the page i have used the html css and javascript and okay so this is the technology descriptions let's start with uh, the functionality of this project so <laughs> This is the home page of my project and this is the slider okay so i have added five slider in it so you can see that once i clicking on this uh tabs then slider image is changing and this is the products these are some random products which are coming from the database if i refresh the website then it's are changing you can see that the projects are changing after hitting the refresh button means how many times you will open the website then that time this product will be randomly displayed okay then these all products are coming from the database this all companies are the coming from the database you can change the logo and details of the products and the companies from the admin panel so i will demonstrate you the admin panel also so let's start the menu one by one so this is the about us page so i have added the about us page here about the project this is the all product section where you will be able to see that how many projects products are available in the website and these are some filters when you click on that watches then all the watches will come and when i click on the shoes then all the shoes categories will uh, come here and same for the bag same for the accessories okay and this is the register so if any user if any customer has not registered on the website then he will be able to register from here and this is the login for the customer so there are two logins in this first is for the customer and second one is for the admin so customer will be able to buy the product make the payment and will be able to see their order history and the order items and the order status while the admin will be able to manage the full sites so this is the totally role based system okay so let's start with the uh, adding some products into our cart so click on the view details this is the details of the page and click on add to cart then if you click on add to cart then that product will be added onto the cart let's go on the watch section and some add this one watch Go on the back section view details and add bags there is accessory sections click on that and add to cart so i have four items available in my cart now i need to make the payment and continue with the payment process so so there are two button continue shopping and the proceed to payment once you click on this continue shopping then you will be redirected onto the all product section and if you want to add more products then you will be able to add those products into the cart also so now there are five items now click on the proceed to payment so you will not be able to make the payment without uh, registering the website so for making the payment you will have to register on the website so let's just log in with the registered user so username is customer and password is test so login so after login this is the customer dashboard and you will be able to see all the products in my cart section okay now click on the proceed to payment so because customer is login that's why it's uh, it has been redacted to the payment page now add the credit card information and click on the make payment once you make the payment your order will be saved in the database and your order pending state will be uh, changed into the confirmed state okay so these are these all are your order status uh, order items and once you click on the my orders then it will display all 
of your previous ad orders and you will be able to see the order details on clicking on the details button okay so you will be able to track the status that what's the status of the order that dispatched packed, confirmed 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 so once admin log into the system and if he changes this the order status then it will be reflected here also so click on the change password this is for the change password if the customer wants to change their password then he will be able to change his password from this form and now log out once we log out into the from the system then all the session will be destroyed okay so this is the full customer functionalities now we start with the admin section click on the admin login and login with admin the username of admin is admin and password is test so this is the admin dashboard where all the menus are available okay so these are the menus the add new menus the reports menus and the my account and the change password so this is the dashboard once you click on the dashboard then you will be redacted to the dashboards so this is the add new department so this is for the employee section right so as designation this is for the employee section because admin will be able to add more employees to manage this system okay so once you click on the add system admin add user then this is the uh, type of the role of the user this is the department and this is the de designation and both the drop downs are coming from the database so you will be able to add or edit or remove that uh, these values from the database and after that you will be able to fill the things of the uh, user and you can also save it into the database <coughs> so next start with uh, add customers so this is the add customer where you will be able to add the customers next one is the add a product so this is the add product section where you will be able to add products and then add company so you will be able to add the product company just like adidas and the biba levi's denim this all companies with the logo you will be able to add the companies with the logo and after that add product type so you will be able to add the product type from here so product type is normally the shoes the accessories the men accessories women's fashion each and everything you will be able to add here and you will be able to associate this category from the product okay so this is the report section again this is the department report designation report for and this both are for the drop downs only uh, which are using uh, which are using in the ad, ad admin uh, sorry add system admin forms okay so system users so you will be able to edit and list all the system users once you click on the edit then it will uh, you will be able to edit the details from here and the customer report so you will be able to see the customer reports from here and after that you can also be able to delete the records from here and then product reports so once you click on the product report all the li product listing will be available here you can edit and update the product from here also so for updating the stock of the product so you can also you will be able to uh, update the stock from here also so suppose if anyone uh, any customer orders that three men blue running shoes then the stock will be deducted deducted by three items okay so next one is a product stock report so this is the stock report so how many stocks are remaining for that items so once uh, user order that product then it will be decreased by that number of products and this is the company report where i have added all the product companies next one is order report so admin will be able to see all the orders and he will be able to edit and update and also delete the order so once he click on the details button then he will be able to see all the order items after that so if you want to change the order status then you will see click uh, on the packed and update status and this is the my account section and change password section and after that the logout section so this is the project online shopping system if you have any issue then you can post it on the comment thank you thank you very much